This is what was once the site of the St. Bernard Parish housing complex in the Bayou District of New Orleans. Today, it's a beautiful place. It wasn't always. It was a place that people wouldn't stop at the red light at the corner because they were scared to stop there. It was probably the most dangerous public housing in New Orleans, uh, 18 city blocks. Violent crime was abundant. Hope was scarce. And then things got worse. Good evening, everyone. Hurricane Katrina is about to unleash her fury on the Gulf of Mexico tonight. It could be one of the worst storms ever to hit the U.S. Ten years ago, New Orleans was savaged by a weather event so extreme, few, if any, could imagine the damage it would inflict. The St. Bernard Public Housing Complex wasn't spared. We had uh, eight to 10 feet of water throughout the community, so what was really uninhabitable housing to start out with became uh, even worse. Meanwhile, 425 miles to the northeast sat Eastlake. This once broken community had become a shining example of how to rethink the solutions for urban decay. Tom Cousins had created a wildly successful socioeconomic Petri dish. He now had one primary thought. Maybe a miracle could be contagious. It could be a model which could be replicated. You know, you could bring leaders from other cities here and say, see how it's worked. New Orleans was just about out of hope. So Baruch and a team of concerned Bayou residents took Cousins up on his offer. First stop, the Drew Charter School. And we walked into the library where there was a second grade class coming out. And these kids were all, all in line, getting ready to walk out. And as they did, each one of them stopped and introduced themselves and shook our hands. And we looked at each other saying, our kids wouldn't have done that. What a change, what a culture and an, an environment they're creating here. New Orleans became the first project of purpose-built communities, the company Cousins founded to export the success of Eastlake. Using the formula of mixed income housing, education and community wellness, what was the St. Bernard Complex is now Columbia Park and a very different place on the very same turf. We've gone from that 684 felonies and 43 murders in four years to the last five years where there have been two attempted felonies in that same community. 20 years ago, Tom Cousins planted a seed in his own community. Two decades later, it has germinated far beyond Atlanta. A beautiful flower in what was once a place where nothing would grow.